Hey, welcome back everybody. In the last video, we learned how to put an image view inside of the screen. But in this video, I'm, I wanna change directions. I wanna go ahead and replace this with a story. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this image and hit the delete key on my keyboard. I'm gonna go back to Finder and here's a nice picture that I found. Say this is a story on some tech news or something. So I'm gonna right click on it in Finder. I'm going to copy it. And if you're on Windows, you can do the same thing. Um, control C, Control V or Command C, Command V on Mac and Windows will work. So let's go into our Drawables folder and then I'm gonna paste it inside of there. So let's go ahead and paste it and that's fine right there. It can be in Drawables, click OK. Uh, hit OK one more time and it should be added there. Okay, now let's go ahead and drag that onto the screen. So let's do this. Let's drag an image view and I'm just gonna place it somewhere here on the screen, doesn't matter exactly where. It's gonna ask me for what uh, image I wanna use. So I'm gonna open up Project. I wanna select this one and in this case, it was called technology.jpg. So it'll show up as technology. And it's important to remember that you can't use spaces, so don't use spaces for this. So I'm gonna position this over here. I'm gonna make it a lot smaller. Um, there it is, you can kind of play around with it. But in this case, I want it to take up the whole width, or the whole width and most of the height. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here, click and drag. It's gonna to snap to the left side. Click and drag. It'll snap to the right side. Click and drag. It'll snap to the top. Then I want to come over here to the left and I want to open up attributes and I want to kind of toggle it until it takes up the full width. So it's not really working quite right. So what can we do? There are a couple of options. So see where it says scale type here? Let's do, let's do center crop. So let's do, so go ahead and select it. Now let's go ahead and use our toggles here and let's toggle it in there. Now it takes up most of the width. You can still tell there's a little bit of gap around it. So what is that about? I think you can do it with these things. So we can set the spacing on the left to zero. Then we have spacing on the top. Let's set that to zero. Over here, let's set that to zero. And the height, we can kind of manually do this if we want, but let's set it to, uh, let's do 200 dp. That should be good. So, and, and it's important to know that there are many ways to do this, but this is using the design editor. And again, we're inside of a content main. So there are a number of scale types we can use. You can play around with these. So fit start, like a beginning. Um, if you want it to center inside, or if you want it, if there's a little bit of gap on the right and the left, what you can do is you can crop the image so that it'll stay up inside of the image. So see how that's all cropped there? It's, 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 you can't see the whole photo, but it's cropped. Okay, now let's do what we need to do next. So this is the, the picture for the photo for our story. Let's go ahead and get a text view and let's drag it in down here and this will be our headline. So we can position this wherever we want to, but what I wanna do is I wanna click and drag and snap it to this photo, and then click and drag and snap it to that photo. Then I wanna click and drag and snap it to the right. Now see how this text is centered? Uh, we wanna we want it to uh, push it over to the left. We'll do that in just a second. But we can kind of play around with these toggles and there are a number of things that we can do. Like there we go. So just kind of clicking on the vertical uh, on the bars there. So we have our story, but let's let's change it. We need the text size to be much larger. This is our main story. Maybe it's breaking news or something. So let's go to text size and let's do, let's do 24. And let's also do text color. Let's go ahead and pick a color here. Let's go ahead and click exactly black. So I'll select black there. And again, uh, the colors uh, we did in a previous video inside of values, colors, and then we use the color picker to actually find a photo. So I'm going to go ahead and close that for now. So we have our story here and we have our text. So let's go ahead and write our headline story. So it'd be uh, technology story here about Google and Android there. So whatever this story is about, we'll just go ahead and name it this. Um, so we also, what else do we want to do? We want to also add maybe a brief, uh, a brief, uh, uh, a brief like call to action, like, hey, read the rest of this story. So let's go ahead and drag another text view down. So again, text view on the left, I'm gonna click and drag it down. We're gonna do snap, snap, and that'll snap it to the top. Uh, left and left, that'll snap it to the left, right to the right, that'll let go. Then we want to also toggle this to constraint layout where it takes up the left. Okay, there we go. Now the same thing here. We also wanna set its color to black. So let's go ahead and select the text color, make it black so it's easy to read. And this is gonna be, this could be a, long, a lot of text. So we don't wanna type out a bunch of text. Actually, in this case, let's just type out text. So story goes here. I'm just gonna paste that in a bunch of times. 
and let's see what that does. So I just pasted in a bunch of stories. In this example, you can just type in whatever you want there. And later in later videos, we'll actually go in and we'll actually uh, create the story. So you can like set up breaking news alerts and notifications, and, like scale to millions of viewers. Um, you can uh, push notifications out to, to hundreds of thousands or millions of, of uh, paying, uh, paying subscribers. We can integrate uh, Android billing, Google Play billing into this where you charge them, you know, $9.99, $10 or $20 a month or $5 a month or $15 a month. So I'm going to go ahead and save this I'm gonna, and I'm going to come up here and go to hit the play button. That'll open up the emulator. And we already set this up in a previous video. And I think this should look okay. So let's just wait. It says Gradle Build is running. This can take a couple of minutes. Okay, it just finished. In my case, that was only like 20 seconds. So here's our story. So we have our main photo there, and we have our, uh, we have our headline for the story, and we have our text for the story. Let's do one more thing. Let's add an author. So uh, oh, let's actually add time. Let's, let's add time. So let's drag another text view. Text views are for text. So I'm going to first thing go in here and do, let's do, we'll do... Um, five minutes ago. So there's our five minutes. Uh, it's not what I wanted. Get rid of that. We'll do five. Let's do five minutes ago. That's not what I wanted. Oops. Let's do five. Oh, it's trying to do the search go. Okay. So just name it. There we go. Five minutes ago. Now I'm going to click and drag up to there. Then I'm going to click and drag over to the left. And I want to make this a little bit smaller. So let's make it let's make it 12 SV. Let's make the text color. In this case, I want to make it let's like dark red color. That's what I chose in a previous video. And let's also make it bold. I think there's even a bold text style. Yeah, we can make it hit the bold on text style. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. And I'm going to go ahead and run it. And we should see this the the five minutes ago next to our story. So let's go ahead and wait and see, and let's see, we have, yeah, we have technology store here about Google and Android. We have some random text, and we have uh, when it was published, which is five minutes ago. So this is the beginning, and the next couple of videos will actually display a list of stories. So instead of displaying just one story, you can swipe through 10, 20, 30, or maybe 40 stories. So that's it for now. Hopefully you learned something, and I'll see you in the next video.